welcome back to my channel and welcome to my most favorite type of haul to watch. I have been like binge watching these videos. I don't know about you guys. Also, I am so curious how people got their what I got for Christmas hauls up like so fast. Like there was some people who had their hauls up before I was even done opening presents on Christmas morning. So I'm so behind compared to everybody else. I could not get it up that quickly. But anyways, this is the what I got for Christmas haul. I have so much stuff. So I'm just going to hop right in and like show you guys everything that I got for Christmas this year. Okay, well the first thing is probably the most obvious thing, but I got a new vanity from my boyfriend. So this is so nice compared to my old vanity. If you watch back on some of my older videos, and in fact I pre-filmed a lot of videos, probably 10 videos that are going to go up after this with my old vanity so you can see the difference, but this one is so much bigger. It has a glass top on it and it's just like, <sighs> I wanted this so bad. So I'm super excited. This um, is from Ikea if you are curious. I will link it down below if you like you know, want to check it out or whatever, but I love that it has these little drawers right here. There's a few tweaks that I want to do, like I want to replace these knobs with like some crystal knobs, but once I'm done, I think I'm going to do a new vanity kind of like tour, very quick video, because you guys have already seen my collection, but maybe like a, a vanity tour or something um, as soon as I get all of that replaced. Okay, I'm all out of breath because I had to lift this up and it's so heavy, but this is my biggest present from my mom. This is a Cricut machine. If you guys don't know what this is, it's basically like a silhouette machine where it cuts out like paper crafting and you can use it for stickers or paper or vinyl or just like anything that's flat basically that you can stick in there. You can print out your own silhouette. And I'm so excited because you guys know I've been like uber into stickers for my planner and now I can make my own. So I'm so excited. I'm not quite sure exactly where I'm going to put it in this room somewhere, but once I figure it out, I'm going to just go crazy and make stickers. I might even start an Etsy shop if I get good at it, but we'll see. Okay. I'm like out of breath. I think I need a minute. That thing is heavy. Okay. Next I'm going to hop into like fashion-y kind of clothing type stuff. So I got two robes this year, which I'm so excited about because I have no robes, zero robes. So the first one, well now I have two, but the first one is right here. This was from my sister. And this, if you can't tell, those are little wiener dogs. This is the Sonoma brand. Um, it's from Kohl's and it is like so stinking soft, you guys. It is like pillow feather soft. It's so cozy and I'm so excited. Plus mint green is like my favorite color. And then the second robe I got is from Victoria's secret. So it looks like this. It's probably pretty hard to see, but the hood has like faux fur in it and it's pink and it's a little bit shorter I think than the wiener dog one and they're different materials. So I think they'll be diff they'll, they'll be good for like different times of the year. Like this is more of like a maybe summer, spring type robe, and that one's more of like a winter, fall type robe. I just realized this video is going to be like extremely long, so I hope you guys don't mind. Next up, I got a nightgown. So this has a little um, like candy cane hearts on it, and I don't have it in here. I'm not going to show it to you guys because it's a little bit weird, but I also got a bra that looks just like this and matching panties, so I have like the whole getup. Next up from Matt's, from my boyfriend Matt, his family, they got me an Under Armour workout shirt, which I'm actually super, super excited about because I don't have anything like this. And you guys know I'm like super into working out and fitness, especially now with a brand new year, like right around the corner. I need to get back into it. So yeah, I'm really excited. This is like breathable material. It has like little holes in it and it looks like it's going to be amazing. Next up, I got some boot sock cuffs. I don't have any cuffs. I have boot socks, but not boot sock cuffs. So I'm really excited to try these out. Then my sister, she knows me all too well. She got me this shirt right here that says, all I need is coffee and mascara and it has lashes on it. Like, <laughs> this is perfect. This is so me. Then I got some socks. These are fuzzy socks that match another nightgown that I have right here. This is a wiener dog nightgown. <laughs> my family's so funny. Anytime there's anything wiener dog, like, pfft, of course I have to have it, right? So this has little wiener dogs on it and they have like a Santa hat and little ear puff muff thingies. So cute. This one's a long sleeve one. And then these socks have wiener dogs on them too. <laughs> And then the last piece of clothing is right here. This is so pretty. Look at how perfect this is. So it's a scarf and it's a lightweight scarf. So it's more like summer, springtime. But look at the design on it. It has 
makeup brushes and compact and lipstick and mascara. This is like so me. My sister got this for me and it's so perfect. It's so pretty. I love it so, so, so much. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it like to wear or to decorate with, um, but oh, I'm so excited. Okay, next up I got three pairs of shoes. My family just went so crazy this year. I'm so grateful and so blessed and so excited. But the first pair is boots. So I have brown leather boots that I just am in love with. But I don't really have, I do have a pair of black leather boots, but they're kind of, they're almost like costumey. Like I got them for my Taylor Swift costume like five years ago. So I wanted some leather boots that I could wear that wouldn't remind me of like costume attire. So I got these and they have a zipper that goes all the way down which makes them super easy to apply, apply, <laughs> to put on. And then they're kind of like ruched in the back. So they're very just like, I don't know, I really, really like them. I already wore these out and they're so comfortable and I love them so much. Okay, next up I have two pairs of shoes from the INC brand. My sister got both of these for me. She's so nice. So the first pair, and both of them I saw at Macy's and I like fell in love with them and so did she. And then I went online to buy them for her for Christmas and they were all sold out. So I have no idea how she got a hold of either of these. But the first ones are black flats and if you can't tell these are like covered in rhinestones and then there's little pink and red like rhinestone lips on it. These are so stinking cute and they're flats so I can wear them to work comfortably. Hopefully they're comfortable. I have a whole bunch of shoes from INC already. INC is a Macy's brand by the way. And I have like flip flops and actually just flip flops and they're really comfortable so I hope that these are also comfortable but I mean come on these are so cute and so perfect for me. And then she got me similar but these are high heels. These are also by the brand INC and they are lip high heels. So they're white and I love the heel. So the heels only like three inches maybe three and a half inches which is perfect because those really really tall heels are uncomfortable let's be honest and I just I'm not the, the biggest fan of high high heels. So three inches is perfect and these are so cute and so like, come on, who doesn't want a pair of high heels with lips on them? <laughs> what do I want to show you guys next? I have a bunch of beauty stuff, but I think I'm going to save that for last. Um, ah, okay, so I already took this out of the box. It's an empty box. It's in the kitchen. But I got this little mixer. So it's a miniature like, so you know those KitchenAid mixers that are really big and they're like two or three hundred dollars, maybe even more, maybe like four hundred dollars? This is similar to that, but it's like miniature. It's probably like this big. It's so cute and it's mint green and it's kind of like has a retro feel to it. It's perfect because I don't have a whole lot of counter space. I don't have a lot of room for a huge giant mixer. Plus, I don't use them that much. So, my mom got me this and I think it's so cute. Next up, I have a blanket. Look at how pretty this box is that it came in. This is from Matt's sister and it is so soft. It's like that same kind of softness that my robe is that I got from Sonoma. Um, but it has like fleece on the inside and it's so, so, so cute. Like look at how festive that is. Like this is going to be perfect as like a throw blanket on the couch. So pretty. I love it. It's so soft. Next up is something that I desperately, desperately needed because the tripod that my camera is on right now is literally taped together because it like fell apart. It's so ghetto. So it's literally taped together. So my mom bought me a new tripod, which I'm so stinking excited for. You know what? It looks very similar to the tripod that I already have, but that's okay. It lasted me for a good maybe two years, but now I desperately needed a new one. So I got a new tripod. Next up is this picture right here. So my sister got this for me. I saw this at Kirkland's and I fell in love. So if you guys can see, it's huge. It's it's a painting for like my bedroom wall, but this is so like shabby chic. I don't know if you can hear me as I'm talking behind the picture, but it's so like shabby chic and it has little rhinestones on it and it's going to match my bedroom so perfectly. Okay, now let's hop into the makeup because I got a lot of makeup and beauty related things. The first thing actually I should show you is not really makeup, but it's from my makeup room and my sister handmade this. So she went out and bought the stickers and like handmade this, which is so cute. So it says, quiet genius at work. <laughs> and there's like a person applying lipstick. So perfect. I'm going to have to put this like right above my vanity or somewhere like right in this area where I can see it every single day. Okay. So actually there's not, oh, you know what? There's one non-beauty thing here. This is, oh, my sister just went, she went crazy this year and I 
had to hold back my tears when I opened this because I wasn't expecting it at all. She went above and beyond, like she spent so much money and I'm so grateful and thank you sis so much. But this is a Michael Kors watch and this is a discontinued watch so it's super, super hard to find. But I have a rose gold version and this is a silver version with a pink face and it has like rhinestones around the outside. I love this so much. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but this is like, I'm going to wear this probably every day. I love it so, so, so much. It's so pretty and I just, I can't believe she got this for me. I really can't believe it. Okay, now let's hop into the makeup stuff. So, the first thing is a Sephora uh, Favorites kit. I love these kits. I talk to you guys about these kits all the time. This is the dry shampoo one. I told my mom I wanted this so bad because I want to try out all the different dry shampoos. I love dry shampoo. So I've already tried the um, Coraline, I think that's what it's called, and I love it. I've tried the dry bar one and I don't like it, but that was one out of the whole thing. Um, the Prep Powder, love it by Bumble and Bumble, but I haven't tried any of the other ones. So I'm really excited. These are perfect little sizes to try out. They're travel friendly and like, this was a really good, good gift. Then I got two eyeshadow palettes and I'm so excited for both of these palettes. So the first one I already busted into and I'm already wearing it on my eyes today. This is the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. This came out probably a month ago and I resisted buying it because I knew Christmas was right around the corner but this is so pretty. It has like neutral colors um, and a little bit of like kind of you guys have probably heard about this already because everybody and their mom has done a review on it. So I'm not even going to talk so much about it, but I'm so excited to finally have it. And then the next one is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. This is another one. I ordered it for my sister and she ordered it for me. So we kind of just like, great minds think alike, right? But this is brand new. I haven't opened this one yet. Um, I want to take a picture of it. Oh, I just painted my nails. I want to take a picture of it before I start to use it, which sounds so stupid. Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is another palette that I'm sure you guys have heard so many people here on YouTube talk about, but it's the third installment of the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. It's pink. The pans are shaped like hearts, and oh, it has the quintessential Too Faced chocolate scent to it. So, I'm so excited for this. I haven't even opened this and looked at it yet, but there looks like there's some pinks and some cool tones and a couple of warm tones, and I just can't wait to get my hands on this and dig into it and play with it. Next up, my boyfriend's mom got me some MAC pigments. I have had my eye on these, and every time I go into MAC, I find an excuse to not buy them, so I'm so happy she bought these for me. This is part of their holiday kit, and this is the beige pigment set. So there's four pigments in it, and it is Out All Night, Blonde Gold, Naked, and Reflects Bronze. I don't have any of these. I don't have any MAC pigments, actually. So I'm really excited to kind of get my hands on these, test them out. Maybe I'll use them for New Year's Eve or something like that. Really excited about those. Then I got two Tarte products from my mom. So the first one is the Park Avenue Princess contour kit, which this is another thing I've had my eye on for a long time and I always find an excuse to not buy it for myself. So I'm so incredibly happy that my mom bought this for me. It has, it's, I think it's better than the big, big contour kit that just came out because to be honest, I'm fair skinned. I don't do makeup on a whole lot of other people except for like my mom and my sisters. So I don't need all the different colors and I definitely don't need the dark colors. This is perfect because it has a matte bronzer, the Park Avenue Princess bronzer, a highlight, and a blush. And like that's really all you need or all I need for like everyday contouring. So I'm super excited to have this. And then she got me the foundation brush that I've had my eye on forever again. This is one that Jaclyn Hill raves about. This is the Buffer, the Tarte Buffer airbrush finish bamboo foundation brush. Uh, yeah, that's what it's called, but this supposedly works amazingly to apply foundation on your face, so I'm so much of a beauty blender person that I, like, I kind of want to branch out and try new things, but oh, I'm so happy to have this. Speaking of beauty blenders, I also got this from my mom, so it has two beauty blenders in it, and then the beauty blender 
um, liquid cleanser with like kind of a pump on it which is going to be perfect for everyday cleaning and I was super 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 excited about this because I wanted this white one I've been wanting this white one for a really long time so now I have a whole little kit with a whole bunch of them in it okay next up I got these Clinique lipsticks aren't these stinking adorable this is I think this was just around for the holiday time but it has a pink a red, a nudish pink, a fuchsia color, and then like a purple color in it. And these, the packaging has like little lips on it. And it says, kiss and tell, love, moi, pucker up. Like, and all of these colors, if you don't have any lipsticks, this is like the, oh shoot. <laughs> this is like the perfect kit. Oh no, now it's rolling around on the floor. The perfect kit to kind of like get you started um, because it has everything you need. Everything is super, super pretty colors. So like here's the red. They don't have a scent to them, which is probably fine. Here's the purple. And this one is the pinky nude one. Like how pretty is that? Look at how perfect that is. So and then there's the two more of them in here. But I'm really, really, really excited to try these out. I've never tried Clinique lipsticks before. So all right, almost done. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me ramble on. So two more things, three more things actually. So the next thing is La Vanilla Perfume. I love this stuff so much and the bottle that I bought a couple months ago is already half gone. So I'm going to need this like really, really soon. This is my favorite perfume ever. Then this was totally unexpected and really, really cool. My sister got this for me too. This is the New 8 Beauty what it says on there but it is like a um, nail dotting and brush kit so you open it up and it looks like this and it has one two three four five different nail dotters and they're dual ended nail dotters which is really really neat and then it has a whole bunch of different brushes let me see if I can show you guys there, it's a little bit better it has a whole bunch of different like little teeny tiny brushes that are going to be perfect for making nail designs so there's like a striper pen right here then there's like a pointy daughter pen actually these are, there's a bunch of stripers in there and then there's like it, there's just a whole bunch of different sizes so I love to decorate my nails and to do designs on my nails and this I think is really gonna help like help inspire me to do that a lot more Last but not least are some Kate Spade earrings. They're cupcake earrings and my god, they are perfect for me. I love cupcakes and I love to decorate with cupcakes. My kitchen used to be cupcakes. So these are so stinking cute. Let me do a close up. Here's what those super cute earrings look like. How adorable are those? And then here's my watch close up. I figured I would show you that while I'm here up close. Alright guys, well that is all that I got for Christmas. I hope that you guys had a wonderful Christmas. I am extremely blessed and I'm so happy to have all of this stuff. I My family always goes all out for Christmas. Like it is such a huge deal and it's so exciting. Like I thought that I would grow out of it eventually, but who doesn't love getting gifts, right? So I had such an amazing Christmas on top of this I spent so much time with family and friends and I'm so happy. That's what Christmas is truly about is spending time with the people that you love, your family and your friends, and I was very fortunate enough to get to do that a lot this year. So I hope that you guys had an awesome Christmas as well. If there's anything in this haul that you want to see like a more detailed review on, or like a demo, or like maybe when my Cricut machine gets up and going, if you want to see how that works, let me know in the comment section down below, and I would love to do that for you guys. And I'll stop rambling because it's been 21 minutes now, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!